The trebuchet catapult is one of the few technological innovations developed in the Middle Ages, as the ancients had no war engine similar to it. I will take this table O parts and transform it into a miniature medieval weapon of castle destruction. The first step is to construct the base and projectile slide. It is important to get the feet centered on the slide so that later the firing arm moves straight. When constructing the frames for the sides of the trebuchet, it is important to get the upright centered and ensure the axle holes are oriented correctly prior to gluing the frame together. Use carpenter's clamps to hold the frames to the base. It is advisable to put the firing arm axle in and use it to make sure the axle holes are lined up before gluing and clamping the piece together. Be careful when tightening the clamps as the pieces tend to slide around and the glue acts like a grease during tightening. Take care to ensure that the frames stay straight up and down and that the upper portion of the frames do not bend inward after the base is clamped together. A spacer can be improvised to prevent this if needed. The counterweight box is somewhat difficult to construct, as it also has an axle, the uprights of which are glued inside the box and must be centered for the trebuchet to operate correctly. It is best to construct this in stages. The firing arm is kept centered in the frame of the trebuchet by spacers that fit over the axle. The axle itself is glued into the frame, but do not glue the firing arm itself. Essentially, the same procedure is used to attach the counterweight box to the firing arm. The axle for the counterweight box is glued into the box uprights, but the box itself must be able to swing freely on its axle. I used heavy washers I bought at the local hardware store for counterweights, but coins or anything else will do as well. To load, the firing arm is locked in the down position and the projectile is loaded into the sling pouch. To fire, the locking pin is pulled sharply to free the firing arm and allow it to swing on its axle from the weight of the counterweights. The sling releases mid-swing and the projectile is thrown on a parabolic arc, hopefully hitting the target and reducing the enemy fortress to dust and gravel in the process. Thus did a medieval trebuchet do its work. This is my trebuchet. This is my enemy castle. Sit, I say. Now my trebuchet is loaded and ready to fire. Now we will watch it fire in slow motion. <laughs> 